Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video we're going to be talking about deciduous dentition. So they're also known as primary teeth and they are the first set of teeth in the development of humans. And they develop in the embryonic stage and they erupt after birth from the ages 6 months to 2 years old. Then the roots of the primary teeth are resorbed and then they fall out from the mouth to be replaced by a second set of teeth known as the permanent dentition. So for the primary teeth we have the central and lateral incisors, we have the canine and we have the first and second molar. So please note that we don't have any premolars and we don't have a third molar. You can see here this is the occlusal surface of what the teeth look like and there are 20 teeth altogether. So the main differences between uh, the deciduous dentition in comparison to the adult teeth, we're going to talk about it in terms of the crown or the coronal part of the tooth, the pulp differences and the differences in the roots. So in the coronal part of the tooth, the differences are that the deciduous dentition, the crowns are much shorter, the enamel and the dentin layers are thinner, and the tooth in general is a lot lighter in colour. In fact, the refractive index of milk is the same as the enamel of primary teeth, which is why they are known as milk teeth as well. So they are lighter in colour and they are constricted in the cervical part of the crown. The differences in the pulp is that it's a lot larger in relation to its crown size. The pulp horns are closer to the outer surface of the crown. There are less nerve fibres and the pulp canals are much thinner. The differences in terms of roots. For the anterior teeth they are much narrower. For the posterior teeth they are longer and for the molar teeth they are more flared as well. 